Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Alien Crest from Gail Shepard. And I hope I pronounced that right. It's a neat spelling. All right. <clears throat> the way Gail has this on the step out it's like a border, but you can do this as a fill-in. So what I'm going to do is it's a grid. I'm going to, I'm going to do it as a, as a four square, but I'll do it, you know, kind of, um, one row at a time. So that way you can see it. Part of me was thinking, gosh, could just do it kind of as a fragment. Cause it's kind of like that. All right. This one is very similar. When I was looking at it, I'm like, this looks like something I've seen before, boomerang. Um, but it is, um, it is a, a, a tad different, I think, in the, in the construction. I have to go back and look at boomerang. But I trust Linda. She said, it's like boomerang, but different enough. All right. So here's your grid. Now, if you, we're gonna, I'm going to focus on these two up here. So if you want to do it as a border, then you'll be all set. So you'll be alternating these. You won't see that here because I'm just doing two. All right. So starting from the lower left corner, we're just going to make a nice curve line to the upper right corner, just like that. Then we're going to aim for the middle. So same corner here to start and aim for the middle. Okay. Then turning the tile, upside down same thing <laughs> and, and it's like ignore what it's going to look like at first but so from the bottom left to the upper right and then here we at least have something to shoot for so tie those in together okay next we're going to use the hollow bow technique and this, you know, it's find the direction on the tile that suits your hand the best. Because we're going to do, and, and air drawing is fine, right? So we're going to go from the now upper left corner to the lower right and tie it into here. So if you by chance missed the, the intersection, like I have been known to do and almost kind of did right there, um, you know, aim for where that is. So and you want to get that curve. So, so pre-think it. So that way, because you're going to lift up your pen, put it, you know, travel it over. I couldn't do it while I was talking this time. Um, pick up your pen, travel it over as if you're drawing it. Put it down afterwards and continue on. That gives you the best chance of making it look like it's, uh, it's one line underneath. And then here, because this is already tied... So, you know, it's kind of, still, you can kind of air draw just to get the, the groove of where, how this would start off to end here. And then you're just really doing that one part. Okay. Then same thing on the flip side, which is nice. So what I say, upper left to lower right. And then the last bit like that. And that's it. Except for you can decorate and shade. Uh, do take a look at the for more inspiration link. So that way you can see, um, actually did she, well, you'll see Linda's sample there, which is really, really nice. That's what caught my eye. Um, and, uh, and then you'll see Gail's, uh, directions. And let me, let me see. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I stop scrolling at the step out. I have learned and I just remember no, there's nothing after it. I mean, there's other things, but sometimes there'll, there'll be uh, more samples and stuff like that. So if you go there, always make sure to take a look. So let's do the same thing on the bottom just to see what that looks like. Right. And of course you could play with this. Um, so lower left, upper right. Once you get it, you, you kind of have it good. This one for sure, I, I think I need to do it in the order that it states. Now, it, again, if you're doing this on a lar either a larger grid or as a border, this step, so you would do this step, skip a box, and then do it again, and you would, you would alternate those. 
um, just so that way then you get this uh, this look here. And then of course, you, you know, play with it using, and because really, this is using it like a fragment. We're just we're doing it uh, one side, turning it. What is it? 180 degrees and doing it, you know, the same way on the other side. That's the idea of a, you know, of a fragment, just to change the orientation so that way it uh, it looks neat. And you see different meta patterns, like even here, as I'm finishing this, you can kind of see meta patterns and things showing up. There we go. And there we have it. This is the direction that Linda has hers in. I'm like, oh, that is neat. And, and I also, oh, I see what she did. I like the suggestion that Gail has in her number four. Um, I just kind of did it. I didn't put it as a step because you can decorate. Ooh, but I just had another idea. Okay, so one, one thing you can do is, <laughs> is you can just fill that in. But I'm thinking, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. Okay. I would have to really figure out how to do what I'm thinking in my head. So I'm not going to worry about it now. Because this is supposed to be a Zentangle Quickie, not, oh, well, you know, I'll do something a little bit different as I'm doing this. Not, uh, let's, let's uh, watch Heather figure things out. <laughs> the things that go on in her head. I could start a whole nother series, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> um, so it, yeah, it's just neat to kind of, yeah, aura these sections. But I do think it's helpful to add in some of this, you know, finishing stuff, shading ideas, stuff like that, because it is part of the tangle besides you know, how on earth do you do it? If Especially for the, the more difficult ones, right? Okay, so here's how I'm gonna decorate. And then we'll, I'm gonna decorate first and then we'll shade. So you can disguise some of these lines, whoops, by putting light lines. And when you put light lines, then it doesn't matter if they mush together or not. They're just real light. I mean, if you want to make more on purpose lines, of course you can. That just gives it a different look. But what I'm doing is essentially disguising. These grid lines, at least for right here. And then I would do the same, you know, because I could go the same. Oh, let me flip it and do these direct this direction. I could continue it the same direction, but I'm not <laughs> because then it doesn't disguise the line. And I, again, just t tickling the pen, you know, on the top of the paper, because then it naturally kind of does a little bit of a, a wave sort of, you know, it's not necessarily straight and that makes it like super forgiving, uh, doing it like that. Yeah, that looks neat. Okay. Now for some shading ideas, of course, where you go over and under, we're going to start there. So we'll just put some graphite here, here. I just broke my own rule. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's not my rule. <laughs> it's just a good suggestion to put the tip of your pencil or tortillon where you don't want the where you don't want the uh, graphite to go over. And just, you know, you could pull it out. Oh, gosh, that looks neat. As far as you want to go. Having it darker, though, does give it the impression of a shine. Especially if you can get, a, a, you know, a nice gradient on there. Let's, where is this? Here. Let's make that a little bit more even. Okay. 
Yeah, and then I was kind. I was thinking. <laughs> I know, it's dangerous. I'm gonna put like at the tip, just this tip because that just seems like it needs something. Yep. You know, and all that we're really trying to do is create a gradient. So smoothing it out with the tortillon and leaving it be on the dark side. You can always go back and add. That's, you know, also neat. Mm -mm. Okay. And then I, we don't, let's. Yeah, I'll do both sides. <laughs> or all sides, apparently. We'll just sink, kind of sink that down, and it'll look neat. And we'll do that to all of them. And as I do this, let me tell you. First, let me ask you. If you've enjoyed this, would love to have you click the like button. And if you liked it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Um, oh, now it looks like a helmet this way. And like, those are eyes. <laughs> it says alien crest. That's the name. I didn't, I didn't honestly did not read. I just, sometimes I just look at pictures because then I get lost in the pictures and I'm like, Oh, that's neat. Let's, Oh, let's look. How do we do that? And then that's as far as I go sometimes. Um, so now I have to read and I will leave that to you to, to take a look at the description section and look at the links. I have uh, links to the step outs. I always do my own version and then um, link to the the creator of the tangle uh, also in that section below that and so that way you can read the story for yourself um, and then below that are ways to connect with me so again if you really enjoyed it um, I do teach classes twice weekly a lot of them are free but I do have some that are paid uh, I also have a membership club, so if you are interested, check us out for free first. See if you like my style, the format. It, it except for the subject matter, my style is my style. <laughs> that is the way it is. Um, and so I hope you, you know, if you enjoy it, then come join us. Join us, like I said, join us for free first, and then if you like it enough, you know, then you know you can take a look at the other classes and the other offerings. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, if you happen to be on Facebook, I have a link to my Facebook page, so you could follow me there, because uh, I do post the classes on there. Uh, and, and if you want to join the conversation with a fellow Tangle addicts, uh, the last uh, link in that section is for our private Facebook group. So we'd love to have you know that there are three questions to answer to gain entry. So again, we'd love to have you. And um, I think that's it. Except for thanks for watching. And, you know, and, and look at how many, I mean, this, it does have a, you know, kind of a, you know, ninja alien look this way, you know, and it, or, or it could be crest. But when you flip it this way, it, it kind of brings on a whole different look. So that's just, what if we do it on this side? Oh, see, well, no, you're still seeing that really. But neat tangle. Again, hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. And I wish you happy tangling. <laughs>